Um, and then I've got another organization I'm part of is called Church Communications. Um, it starts with our Facebook group. If you're not part of the Church Communications Facebook group, you got to come and join the party. We've got almost uh, 28,000 people in the group. Katie Allred is my partner. She founded the group. She's got the secret sauce for how to engage communities and grow them and have affinity, et cetera. And so we've all nerded out on that topic of church communications there. And through there, we've proliferated. We've got a, you know, a podcast like this. We've got, uh, we pu just published a book on Instagram. We've got courses and content. We just launched our um, Apple TV, Roku and Amazon TV apps. And so we're just having fun um, doing what we do. And if you've not, Hey, audience, if you've not tuned in to, you know, go, it's a group, so you have to request to get in the group. But it is amazing to see anybody in the church will post a question or they'll throw up a graphic and they get instant feedback by all these thousands of people that work in the church. And it's it's really fun to see. You can get a lot of help in there, can't you? That That's the part where I'm like, this is, this is where um, Seth Godin says it, where the power of the magic of the internet is aggregating like-minded people to come together around certain things and we're all here peer to peer trying to help each other grow if you meet a church communicator that says i know exactly how it has to be done and this is the solution then you got to run right like we're all learning together technology social everything is changing so quickly i think we need each other and that's what this community has embraced